Well, I guess I can move this water trough. It has served its purpose and the cattle have drained it now. So that all that's left in here is some rainwater from the other day when we got a little shower. This held up though, I was, I was pleased with that. And now I feel like I shouldn't use it as a dumpster anymore. I should probably save it and use it as a water trough somewhere else when I have a need for one. Figured out where I was putting this before I started moving it, I guess. But today's video is not about putting water troughs away. Sorry to disappoint you. Today, I need to go get some more work done over at the winter pasture. If you guys saw the last video, you know that there's still some lingering jobs over there. So the main goal for today is to get some pathways mowed where I can put some hot wires up, get those hot wires put up, and take care of whatever else we got to do today. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. I think we're ready to go. I'm over here at the winter pasture now and this is kind of what I'm dealing with. I want to run a hot wire through this right along this fence line and you can see the weeds and the thistles. Everything is so tall that trying to run a hot wire through here the way that it is now just wouldn't work because it'd be grounding out on all of the stuff that would be laying up against it. So my plan is to work my way through here very carefully because there's a lot of down limbs. I don't want to chew one of those up in the mower, um, but I'm hoping that I can get a nice clean pathway mowed along the fence here so that it is easy to set the wire up and then also easy to maintain it once it's there. This might end up taking me a little bit longer than I thought, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Basically, I'm mowing a little ways and then I'll get off and sort of walk where I'm planning to go looking for big limbs or anything that might uh, cause some excitement for me. And I actually found one, I almost hit it.
I don't have a lot of faith in this wire. It's the next day now, and we're back out here at the winter pasture stringing up some hot wire. This hot wire is gonna be particularly challenging because there's really no good straight shot from point A to point B. We've kind of got to zigzag around some trees and some brush and some other things like that. So I think I'm gonna end up using a lot more posts on this wire than I normally would. But as long as we can just keep the wire from touching any of those things, then it ought to stay nice and hot, which is important because what was happening last year is the cattle were getting out into this guy's orchard. And I know he didn't appreciate it, but he didn't make a big deal about it. So we wanna to try to do a little bit better this year. The problem is if the cattle get out in the orchard, their hooves can punch out the ground. We wanna to try to be a good neighbor and avoid that this year. And this is the best way I know how to do it. We are gonna need bunch of fiberglass posts and probably a few of these insulated line posts. I don't even know how many this is going to take. Maybe 20. More than that even. Well, I got 20 posts here. That's probably about as much as I want to try to carry with a hammer and a camera. So if I use all these, which I'm sure I probably will, then we'll just walk back to the side by side and kind of move the operation on down the line. Today's gonna be a lot of steps, there's just no getting around it, so uh, yeah, let's just start doing it. Normally when I'm setting out posts, I just count off 25 paces and that's about right for flat ground, but this wire is a little bit different because the posts need to hold the wire according to the contour of the ground. So sometimes you have a couple posts that are really close together because you've got a little drop off or a turn or something like that. So I keep trying to pace them out, but it's just not really working. Just dropped the last post here. I've only got a little short ways more to go, so that's not too bad. What I'll do is just start tapping these in as I walk back to the side-by-side, -side, and then we can sort of evaluate, see what things look like, and then move back here and finish this up. Now, if you're thinking that putting this hot wire up is gonna exclude the cattle from a lot of feed out here, it, not really. It'll exclude them from some acreage, but I'm really only trying to block off areas where the brush and everything is just kind of nasty stuff that they don't like to eat anyway. Like here under this fig tree, there's really nothing. We move up further and it's pretty much just berry vines and thistles. So this is an area that the cattle never really went in anyway, unless they were trying to push fence lines. We're back down here on the other end again and I don't know if you can see on camera but this wire is like 10 feet off the ground because the last place that it's attached is on top of the levee um, so as I tightened it up it just picked it right up so this is going to be a good use of the insulated line post because the wire won't be able to pull those out of the ground and it'll it'll keep this down where it needs to be. So right here, the wire is at about the top of my post. So it's probably off camera. Um, but I think we want this post about right here. This seems like the low spot. We'll try right here. This is looking kind of like it's done now. We're down here on the other end of the winter pasture now, and anytime I film down here, somebody makes a comment about the gigantic oak trees that are on this end of the property. And honestly, the way they look on camera doesn't even come close to doing them justice to how they look in real life. This one right here is big, but it's not the biggest one. The biggest one's down there. Let me show you. 
This tree is an absolute monster. It's almost like two trees put together and each one of those trees by itself would be big. Let me try to film this with my phone. Sometimes I feel like that does a little bit better job of, of capturing what things actually look like as opposed to the GoPro. I remember Max telling me that he thought this tree was probably 200 years old or maybe even older than that. And that was just based off of some of the other big trees that had fallen down out here that they were able to cut and count the rings on. So 200 years old means that like in the early 1800s, say the 1820s, possibly even before that, this tree was here, which means that when this area was being settled by the pioneers, this tree was here. Well, that's good. You look tired. What have you been doing? You look tired too. Through the magic of editing, this wire is now up and done. We've got the north end and the south end of the winter pasture protected by hot wire now. Originally, and I think I've mentioned this several times, but my plan was to bring the cattle over here like within the next couple of days. But as I've been out here putting the wires up and just sort of thinking about things, I think I'm gonna hold off for at least another week. I wanna give this grass a little bit more of a chance to grow and we're gonna get a couple of warm days here in the next week. So I think it'll really start to stock up good and I, I want to let it do that. The reason is is that if I bring the cattle out here now when the grass is still kind of on the short side what happens is in a couple of weeks they will mow this right down to the ground and then it takes forever for the grass to recover. And what that means is that I will be forced to feed them hay for a longer period of time than I think I might have to if I let the grass stock up a little bit so that it can sort of keep up with them a little bit better. Now, depending on what the weather does and what happens in the next couple of months, I'll probably have to end up feeding them hay anyway. And during that time, they'll pick the grass down short anyway. But I think that I'm sort of, I'm giving myself a chance of this working out better for me if I just hold off a little bit and let this grass stock up. So with all that being said, I am tired of stringing up hot wire for today. I think it's time to do something else. What do you guys think? We're back out here at the ranch now. I'm standing in the little field where I made a repair to an underground pipe a couple days ago. When I filled that hole back in, the ground was so muddy that I was afraid to let the calves back out here because of the thought that one of them might just put a foot right through the mud down to the pipe and break it all over again. But as I'm looking at the ground now, it seems like it is solid enough that if a calf happens to step on this, I don't think their foot will shoot down to that pipe now. So I think we can finally turn these guys loose. It is still a little bit soft there, but I have to think that, you know, of all the places that the calves can stand in this field, they're probably not just gonna wanna stand in the mud. The rest of this is all dry. So hopefully the odds of them stepping there are not great. I thought I was doing them a big favor by letting them back out here. They don't even really seem to care that much. What are you doing that? The other surprise I've got waiting for them out here is a hot wire along this barbed wire fence. I noticed these posts are starting to lean over. They've obviously been reaching through and wanting to get back in with the cows, so. We've got a good hot wire here now that, that ought to solve that. Haven't had a huge problem with calves breaking through that fence. It's only happened once this year, 
but I sure feel a lot better with that hot wire there. Hmm. They seem to want something. They seem happier now. What are you chewing on? Well, another day has gone by and we got a little bit more done today than we did yesterday. So I guess I'll take it. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. And I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.